and then put your legs out in front. Oh. Puppies blocking our view there, Susan. Oh. <laughs> as soon as you get down on the floor, we got puppies coming to do yoga. Oh, baby. Oh. All right, friends. Take your shoulders down and back. Adjust so that you feel like you're supported and you're sitting up really well. Take your toes up towards the sky, energetically drawing those feet towards your face. Feeling the length of your legs and feeling all this core have to work to hold you up steady. So I'm feeling as if I'm lifting through my ribs. Gently draw your right knee up towards your chest. Give it a little squeeze here. Perhaps a little beginnings of mobility in that leg, just a gentle moving side to side. Feel if you're tight. And then we'll drop our right knee to the floor, bringing our right foot underneath the left leg. So we're just gonna find our way where we're seated really in a nice grounded way. If you are in agony and you're just right here, then you may want to come back to this spot. Otherwise, come with me, bring your left knee up towards your chest, sit up tall. Get a little mobility, a little dynamic movement in that hip. And then we're gonna guide the left foot on top of your right thigh. And now you're sitting in this really open crisscross position. If this is not good for you or you have your knee way up here and you need to put a block there, you can go ahead and do that. But I find if I go into my easy seated pose this way, I can get my knees out a little bit wider. Good modification, Susan. Good, all right, take a second here. Shrug your shoulders a few times and then lay your hands onto your knees, palms up. Close your eyes. And if I could come by and I could place the thing in your hands that you need right now, you only get to pick one thing. What do you need from this next 45 minutes on your mat today? Do you need patience? Do you need energy? Do you need forgiveness and tenderness with yourself? Or do you need a little tough love and you need to kind of push yourself? Get up, get going, give 10% more. Just decide, pick one. We're so afraid to commit sometimes because we might choose the wrong thing and then we feel like we're stuck to it. Just, it's just for now. Just pick one and that's your intention that you're seeking for today. I've put that into your hand. I've given you the opportunity to find what you need. The rest is up to you. Let's find our breath together. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth. With each exhale, push away something that didn't go well this week. Let it be in the past. It's not here. It's not happening right now. Breathe in. Open your mouth. Let go. One more like that, really clearing out the things that aren't serving you anymore. Breathe in. Open mouth. Exhale. Now bring your hands together to heart center. Keep your eyes closed and let's take five breaths intentionally together. This time with your mouth closed, lips gently together, jaw relaxed. Inhale. Exhale. Slow it down. Inhale. 
Keep your shoulders steady. Let your breath come up through your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Deeper, add some vigor, inhale. Keep the vigor on your exhale, mouth is closed. You're firing up from the inside, inhale. Exhale. Open your eyes, send your hands up towards the ceiling, reach. Sweep your hands back and down behind your back. Bend your elbows. Press your hands, palms away towards the center of your back and push your elbows towards your back. Release those hands and let's meet in our child's pose. I'm going to move us along today. I want you to imagine as you're in your child's pose here, let's put your practice in the perspective of being in a raft on a river. And it might be bumpy at times, but you know when that happens and you're on a river that you're gonna get back to the place where it's steady and calm. So be willing to, be, to have fun and have an attitude of enjoyment and excitement as you go through the bumpier, rapid parts. And then know that you can always go back to that place where it's more smooth and quiet. Having said that, as we're moving along today, if you need to back off and you want to take a second where you just take a break, come back to this child's pose. Reclaim your breath. Just like you kind of stopped paddling for a second and just let yourself drift. Reach your hands in front of you enough that your elbows lift. Find that integration of your shoulders into your back, really reaching through all 10 fingers. Press your palms into the mat and then push yourself up to hands and knees. Tuck your toes and take yourself back on an exhale to your downward facing dog. Adjust your feet and your hands, taking a shorter stance if you'd like so that you get that good inverted V shape. It doesn't matter if your heels don't reach the mat, but your arms need to be straight so you're allowing your chest to melt towards your thighs and you've got good strength through your arms. Feel your triceps, that's that space along the back of your arm between your elbow and your shoulder. Feel that part really engaged. That's what's helping you to hold up. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Look forward, take a walk to your hands. Oh. Get there. Soften your knees, ragdoll, grab opposite elbows, let your head hang, sway a little bit side to side. What a gift that we can all show up at this time together to do this live with each other. Not having to feel alone, like we're just checked out watching the screen passively, but I know you're here. You know that each other is here. Release your hands, roll all the way up, pull that belly button in. And keep going, sweep your arms up and find this nice long spine as you reach up towards the sky, maybe a little bit back. And then exhale, hands through heart center, take your forward fold. <sighs> Breathe in to your flat back. Exhale, take yourself back. Here's your high plank or your modified high plank. <laughs> First one, so take it as you need. If you need more time to get warmed up and ready, then you're there. If not, claim it now. Belly tight, good work. Breathe in, push that mat away. Exhale, turn those eyes of the elbows forward, lower all the way down. All the way down to the mat. Good, if your knees were down, you can still lower down or you could just take it back to your child's pose. Inhale, lift your chest, pushing through your hands. It can be a little bit or a lot. Good work. Tuck your toes, take it back. Breathe it out, downward facing dog, good. 
Shake out your head here. No, you're not going to get in your own way for the next three days. Pedal out your legs. Yes, your body is going to work because that's how we grow. Look forward. Walk your feet to your hands. Try to find some grace in that transition. Whatever that means for you. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up. Feel all four corners of your feet pressing into the mat. Reach up maybe a little bit back and then enjoy that big forward fold. Exhale out your mouth. This is a cleansing practice, guys. We're really using the breath to clear space. Inhale to your flat back. Good. Exhale. Take yourself back to your high plank or your modified plank. If your knees are down, you still turn the eyes of your elbows forward. Hug your elbows in tight and lower down to the mat. Relax your feet. Breathe in, lift your chest. Lower all the way down. Good. Tuck your toes, belly tight, push up to your high plank and back to your downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, big breath out. So what you're doing right now is called a vinyasa. Specifically, it's called Suri Namaskara A, which means sun salutation. We're gonna do one more of those. Walk your hands to, walk your feet to your hands. Notice the energy from your feet and pull yourself all the way up. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Michaela, I didn't say hi to you earlier. Good morning. Good afternoon. Exhale, take your hands through heart center, forward fold. Strong flat back. Hands to your shins. Really, a flat back means you could set something on that back. How do you do that? You have to engage the muscles of your back and squeeze your shoulder blades so that your collarbone is wide. Take a breath in and then fold. Go all the way down. Step back to your high plank or modified plank. Hold it there for a breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Squeeze those elbows in. Good. As soon as your feet flip, then you can breathe in, lift your chest. Ooh. Really nice, good. Tommy, you okay today? Yeah, <laughs> Exhale, <step>. tuck your toes <laughs> and take it back to your downward facing dog. Everything this week is catching up with you right now, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, friends, spread out all 10 fingers, pushing your hands really into the mat. Bend your knees and like you're pushing your booty back. So I'm not bending my arms, I'm not shifting forward. I'm pushing through my hands, pushing that tailbone back. Good, that's your starting pose if you'd like to try to take a little hop. If you're like, hops are not for me, then this is building some strength in your quads and you can just take a breath there and then walk your hands, walk your feet to your hands. If you wanna try the hop, you gotta start from this strong position and then think of floating your feet forward, weight shifting into your hands. All right, here we go, top of the mat, good. Bend your knees, imagine that you've got two fingers between your knees, so I've got just enough space for two fingers between my knees. Booty back, strong legs, lift your chest, chair pose. If arms high or too much, take them right here. So I'd rather you preserve your shoulders for that high plank. So you could always take it to a modification. Where are you looking? If you're looking down, is that what you always do? Are you always looking down? Look up. Hold your gaze up. Look forward. Know that what you're supposed to do right now in your life is going to unravel for you as long as you keep your eyes open and you're allowing yourself to see. Booty down and back, belly tight. Good work. Breathe out, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale to your flat back. All right, friends, how are you doing? Okay. Good. We're doing okay. Okay, Terry didn't sound too confident. Yay! Okay. <laughs> All right, step it back to your high plank. Just breathing. 
Breathing. <laughs> breathing is good. All right. High plank. Good work. All right. This time, friends, I want you to go as slow as you can as you come down because we're building that strength into that low push up. So belly tight. You can be modified. Ladies, it takes us a while to build up that chest strength. Here we go. Eyes of the elbows forward. Squeeze your elbows towards your ribs. Lower down. Can you find this little hover for a half a second before your chest hits the mat? Good. Breathe in. Lift your breath. Lift your chest. Tuck your toes. Bend back through your knees. Take it back to your downward facing dog. Good. All right, I'm going to take us through our warriors. Linda, if standing, if lifting on the one leg is not right for you, then I want you to just get there by dropping a knee, okay? Which we've done before. All right, good. Break breath in, friends. Take your left le right leg up towards the sky option that to not do that and just drop your left knee step your right foot forward take a moment here i want you to feel the stretching through your right leg option to have the left knee down get that good lift through your right knee good here we go squeezing your knee towards your nose bring it through to your right hand excellent drop your back foot square your shoulders Rise up, sweep your arms up, warrior one. So we're on the river ride, right? Maybe that was a little bumpy. Just hang on. Now you're in the steady part. Are you breathing? Go back to the calm. If you take your foot out to the right edge a little bit more and bring your back foot in a little bit, you'll be more able to square your hips. So just shorten up that stance. Lengthwise, widen it side to side. If your breath is all up here in your chest, drop that belly. Breathe here. Holding your gaze steady. Marco and Michaela, do not look at the pile of stuff that you said you have in front of you. Just look away. Nothing stressful. Here we go. Transition open to your warrior two. Right foot is forward. Left leg becomes straight, right knee is bent. Check in and take your hand on your right knee and push that leg back. So you'll feel that opening and lengthening a little bit harder through your right inner thigh, but that's okay. Push that knee back. Now take your hands out and here's the tricep. It's active, squeezing, reaching through your hands, hugging your belly button in, good work. Look over that hand, reverse your warrior. Breathe and reach up. <sighs> All right, we're gonna windmill down to the mat. So think about that, reach up and then find your way back around. Dropping a knee if you need to. Meeting me back in your downward facing dog. Both feet on the floor. Good, really good. Left leg up or drop your right knee and lift your left leg up. Notice if you start to collapse through your right arm and try to adjust your weight so that you're even through your hands, straight elbows. All right, look towards your hands, squeeze your left knee in and then exhale, push that left foot forward. Good. Let your breath sometimes help you with the propelling. Rise up, warrior one. Back leg is down. Good. Sweep your arms up. Square your shoulders and your hips. Make these adjustments so that you know that you feel steady. Your left knee's bent. Good. Your left quad should be working. So this left leg is the part that's working right now. Core tight, breathe in. Exhale, open, warrior two. In your warrior two, your hips are facing the side. So this is your chance to get a little bit deeper, closer to the floor for those of you that have that interest. So you can scooch your left foot forward a little bit. 
good, Chris, and then drop into this. So you're imagining, good, Terry, that your front thigh becomes level to the floor. Breathe here, set your gaze over your finger on your left hand, squeeze those glutes for stability and reverse your warrior, sweep your arm up, breathe. Left arm reaches up, right hand creeps down your leg or goes to your hip. Keep this belly engaged, good. We're gonna take ourselves windmill back down to the mat. You can drop to the knees if you need to, go gentle. You can meet me back on your hands and knees or in your downward facing dog. My down dog friends, both feet on the floor. Good. All right, here comes your side plank. If you want to do this with a knee down, go ahead, take a left knee down so that you can lift your right leg and peel your right hand, I'm sorry, lift your right leg, peel your right hand up towards the sky. If you're in your down dog, meet me in high drop your heels to the left fire up that belly lift your right arm up towards the sky and push the mat away awesome <laughs> breathe graceful gently control it bring your right hand back down to the mat push back to your downward facing dog or if you're on your knees take a little child's pose Good, it's really just as much work when you're on your knees. So enjoy that if you're doing that, breathe in. All right, if you're on your knees, right knees down, left leg lifts, flex that foot, lift your right left hand up towards the sky. If you're in your down dog, meet me in high plank. Get steady, this right arm needs to be stacked, wrist, elbow, shoulder. Drop your heels to the right, peel your left arm up and hike this right hip away from the mat. So you get a little arch through your body here. Breathe, good work. Belly tight, control it. Come all the way back down. You guys are rocking it. Exhale back to your downward facing dog. Good, bend your knees, look forward, get into this launch position. If you're on your knees, we're gonna meet our meet standing up in chair pose at the top of the mat. So make your way there. You can take your hop, you can just stand up. <laughs> You can take a walk. Here we go. Chair pose. Like you're holding kind of a, a fat marker between your knees. So not tons of space, not a, not a tennis ball, just something small between your knees. Good. I thought you said a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's a great suggestion. I actually think a margarita would be great, but I wouldn't hold it between my knees. I'd hold it right here next to my <laughs> <laughs> this is This is margarita pose, right? Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, hands are up, booty is down. Reach up, friends, belly stays tight. Exhale, forward fold, good. Oh, now you're gonna make me want margaritas tonight, Malama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Inhale to your flat back. All right, we're doing that whole thing again. Now you know what to do. You've been on this part of the river before. Step back to your high plank or modified plank. All right, find your flow. You're on this ride. Turn the eyes of your elbows forward. Shift your weight forward a little bit and squeeze as we come all the way down. Hugging in. Good work, relax your feet. Push your chest up, find this upward dog, breathe. Exhale back, roll your hips back, downward facing dog. Good. Take a moment here. All right, option to drop your left knee and step your right foot forward or lift your right leg up towards the sky. Mindful that your left elbow doesn't collapse and squeeze knee to nose, step it through. Meet me in warrior one. If you want to modify, then you're down on your knees and you can be doing this nice low lunge. Still getting lots of opening through your hips and your legs. You go where you're challenged because that's where you need to be. You won't grow if you're staying in your comfort zone. 
However, you won't grow if you're not listening. Warrior two, open it up. Adjust your feet so you get this nice wide stance. Imagining your right thigh becomes parallel to the floor. Breathe. Drop those shoulders, squeeze those glutes up underneath your hips. Belly tight. Good. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, take a breath there. <sighs> Notice if your right leg started to straighten as you got into this reverse your warrior and adjust. You want your leg to be bent. Breathe here. Good work. Come back. Here we go. Windmill around. Find yourself either on your knees or in your downward facing dog. Take a breath. How are you going to make space for something new if you just keep everything inside? So you got to let go of the judgment of yourself. Let go of the judgments you have of others. Just make space for being present right now. Left leg up to the sky or right knee down. Get ready to step that left foot forward. Squeeze and use your exhale as a little oomph. Get your left foot forward. Meet me with your knee down or in your warrior one. All right, now you're like, you're in the smooth part. Let it be calm. Maybe you close your eyes for a second. Feel your fingertips reaching. Open your hands to feel the love that people want to offer to you that sometimes you don't even notice if you're just being too busy. Exhale to your warrior two. My right foot is parallel to the back edge of my mat. Good, Linda. Drop into that knee, arms are nice and straight, building up all this great shoulder strength, guys. Reaching long here. Really nice, Susan. Breathe here. Reverse your warrior. If you're not calming down, this is that kind of peak ebb and flow. So calm down. Calm down right here. And then be willing to kind of hit the bump again as you windmill your hands down and find your way back either to your knees or to your downward facing dog. Flowing here. Take both feet to the floor. Good work. All right, side plank again. From your knees or from your high plank. Find that place you're going to be. Ready? Heels to the left or right leg up. Side plank. Modified is left knee down, right leg up. Right hand is up. Good. Hold it one extra second. <sighs> Control it. Come on down. You got it. Come on down. Control it. Good work. Breathe. Take a second on your knees or in your downward dog. Pull yourself together. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to try. All right. From your right knee or shifting forward into your high plank, I'm going to do the modified. Right knee down, left leg up, left hand up. If you're in the side plank, you're dropping your knees to the right, lift your, dropping your heels to the right, lift your left hand. Breathe here. Hold it just for an extra second, reaching that left hand up. Good work, control it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come all the way back down. Awesome job, guys. Drop to your knees. Take rest. Find your child's pose. You can put a block or your blanket underneath your head. You did a lot of work on your wrists, so if you'd like to circle out your wrists or just take them back behind you, whatever gets some of the weight off of there, that's fine. And if you have like a frown on your face right now, why do you have a frown on your face? You should have the biggest grin on your face because you just went through a half hour of nonstop doing that yoga, which is not something that any of you would have been doing months ago, right? It does help. That's right. That's right. A high five. High five. If you got somebody next to you, you give them a high five. Puppies included, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
All right, friends. Let's celebrate with some balancing, huh? Ready? <laughs> From your hands and knees, take a couple minutes, find your cat cow. Good. All right, let's learn to fire up our alignment first on our knees. So taking your left foot back and lift your left leg. Now feel the tendency when you lift your left leg to lean over to the right and almost like fall over there or collapse into your right elbow and shoulder. Try to steady your weight between your two hands and think about your left hip bone being in line with the right hip bone so that the left hip isn't peeling up you really having to work your core to keep that left leg up. My right elbow always wants to soften, so mindfully pushing through the right heel of the hand. Gaze is forward, breathe. Good work, gently set your left foot down. Take some circles of your hips. Mm. Working out the kinks there. Nice and strong here. Take your right knee back, right foot back. Go ahead, set your gaze. Drawing this belly button in tight to spine, lift your right heel. So I find there's this like temptation to like collapse down as soon as you lift your right leg. Resist that temptation and think of lifting your shoulders and your chest. Heel is down. Are you, is your back leg as straight as it could be? Good. Really firing up the glute and squaring that hip. So if your right hip is cocking up, you got to level it with the left. Yes, you're strong. Yes, you are. Breathe in. Good. Nice and steady. Set that down. Swivel your hips around. If you remember which direction you went before, go the other way. Hmm. All right, before we stand up, let's take a minute and do uh, shoelace. So this is where some of you might find it helpful to sit back on your block. We take our left knee behind our right. Remember this? Spread your feet out a little bit and then drop your hips back. You can put a landing zone back here underneath your bottom so you can sit back onto the block. That puts my right knee on top. If that's too much, you remember as you're learning about you, that you just adjust and take your left leg straight out. Really good for opening that hip. Good, Terry, that's progress with your knees. Well, why I can do this and not some other <laughs> stuff, I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> well, it is, that's progress with your knees, so that's good. All right, yeah. we're right here, just put your hands on your front knee. Drop your shoulders, hug your elbows in so that you're nice and long. Just take a breath, close your eyes. Go to that ujjayi breath, the breath in through the nose and exhaling out your nose, nice relaxed jaw. That is your grounding, centering breath. It's not my breath, it's not someone else's breath, it's your breath. It's your choice, it's your control. Good. Open your eyes, release your hands. Let's rock back forward and uncross your knees. You can keep your block or your blanket back there because now we'll go the other way. So now you take your right knee behind your left. Go ahead and scoot your feet out to the edges a bit and then drop back. This way it's going to put your left leg on the top this time. Yeah. Good. If that's too much and your hips are different, then just pop this right leg out and you have your left leg over. We make progress like one grain of sand at a time, truly. I invite you to remember that wanting something to be different and actually making something be different 
are two totally different mindsets because you can just want something all day long, but actually making something different requires you to do something different. Close your eyes, anchor your hands. Hear your breath. Good. Release your hands and rock back forward. Un unwind your legs. Move your stuff, your props up out of the way. And let's make our way to a standing position. So you can go from your downward facing dog and take a little hop to your hands, or you can just stand up and stand up at, at your mat. And you can face so that you're facing your computer. So if that means you want to turn sideways, that's okay. That way we can have a focal point, right? All right, so remember when you lifted your back leg and your hips were square when we were on our knees, right? And that required you to recruit the booty and your core and your back in order to not just fall over. So we're gonna do warrior three. Your hands can start at heart center. Step your left foot forward, and then as you tip your weight into your left foot, let your right foot elevate. So this is just like we were on our knee, right? Except now we're standing. Now I'm aiming to have my leg parallel to the floor, but you may begin by having your leg be a little bit lower, but really your balance point does come when you try to get your chest and your leg in line. So in that way, it may feel like, oh, that's going to be harder, but I feel like you get like that physical point where you can balance better when you go there. So let's go together. Step your left foot forward and shift the weight, lifting your right leg up. Toes are down. And here's where the lessons you learned when you were on your knee, apply them here. So you start collapsing into the left side. Try to draw the right hip down a little bit. Engaging through your right glute as well as your left leg. Good, step it back down. Our right foot is behind us, left foot is still forward from when we step down, stretch it out, just take a forward fold over that leg. You can put your hands on the block in front of your left foot. Allow the weight to soften back into your right heel, getting more of a stretch through the back of your left leg. <sighs> Breathe here. Good. If your hands are on the block, let go. If your hands are on the floor, bring them to heart center. Let's activate that core. Put your hands right here at heart center. Press your fingers together and rise all the way up in one straight line. All right, good. Step your feet together. Back up a little bit if you need to, because then we're going to step the right foot forward. Hands are at heart center. And shift your weight out of elevating your left leg. And if you need to do it a couple times to find the place where you're ready to be suspended, then do that. Nobody says you have to just stay in one spot. As long as you're learning, I want you to move. Because that's your confidence, right? Is being able to be so focused and listening right now that you can say, oh, I think I want to try it this way. I want to pull my left hip down. I want to take my right foot a little bit more out to the right edge of my mat and see if that gives me more stability. Oh my <laughs> All right. If you've been here 20 minutes, I'm with you. All right, come on, step it down. Step your left foot back, right foot is forward. Take a breath in, fold over your right leg. Put your hands on a block or on the floor. Remember to, you can adjust the height of your block. Really good guys, good. Linda, how's your hip holding up? It's okay. It's okay? All right. This has been a hard day for the legs, so good job. 
Yeah, yeah? it's doing better. Good, good. You're, if I was your PT, I'd be really proud of you. Hi, right, Big you. Beth in here. <laughs> Big Beth in here. Good. All right, hands to heart center. Find the flat back. Strong everywhere. Lift all the way up. Good work. Step to the top of your mat. Take a big breath in. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. And make your way down to your belly. So stepping back, you can take that through high plank and lower down through your chaturanga, which is that low push-up, or just step back and just make your way down to the belly. I want to do a couple of our sh um, <sighs> shoulder and rotator cuff exercises here. So taking a second, get settled. You can rest your cheek on the mat. Give yourself a moment. All right, clear your mind so that you are able to bring your awareness to your shoulders and to moving very slowly. Good. Take your arms out in front of you, palms down, chin on the mat, and lift your arms a little bit. Good. Start to slowly bring them out to the edges, slowly, slowly, out like a T. Now flip, so now the palms are facing up. Bend your elbows and gently bring them back so that now you have bent elbows and you're reaching towards the small of your back. Palms are down. Good. All right, and then reach. Let's go the opposite way. So undo, you go back out to the side and flip now so the palms are down. And then bend your elbows, bring them back to rest under your forehead. Breathe. All right. If you came to Izzy's workshop, you remember this? We did this. And Marco, you've been doing this with your shoulder ever since, I feel like. Is it helping? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Good. All right. So let's do that again. So here we have our hands forward. Palms are down. Reach them out straight in front and then we sweep slowly 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 the key here is very slowly out to the edges so now I'm like a T then flip palms are up then start to bend your elbows bringing your hands to rest on the small of your back harder than it looks huh all right go the other way here we go Chest is lifted. All right. Squeeze those glutes for stability and sweep your hands back out to the edges. Palms are up till we get out to that T position. Then you can flip palms down. Gaze is down. I've got my head lifted a little bit. Bending your elbows, bringing your hands to rest. Back up underneath your forehead. Take a moment, breathe. Good. Support your forehead with your hands. Bend your knees. Toss those knees a little bit side to side. All right, we're going to do floor bow twice. You can do that one leg at a time or go ahead and reach back for both ankles. It's up to you. So if you're just doing one at a time, reach for your right ankle. You can have your left leg relaxed or bent, whatever is right for you, and lift your chest. If you're thinking maybe you got both in you, reach back, grab both ankles, flex your feet, squeeze your shoulder blades together. This time gaze is down, so the back of your neck is nice and long. Breathe here and release. Exhale, release that clasp. Take a breath. All right, if you grab the right ankle last time, then lift your chest and reach back. Grab your left ankle. 
and gently pull your heel towards your left glute. If you're reaching for both, go ahead. This is your last one. Reach there. Think of bringing your knees energetically together, your shoulder blades together. And if you've got this catch, some of you do, good, of both feet, flex your feet and think of lifting your thighs. Lift your thighs up off the floor. <laughs> yeah, good. All right, lower all the way down. Ah, relax your feet. Sphinx pose, put your hands on the floor, elbows down. Lift your chest, stretching out through your back. Let's take three breaths here, close your eyes. For those of you that get a lot of tension in your neck and shoulders, in this space, you have a little bit more um, empty space between your chest and your chin because your chest is lifted. So maybe you can roll your head around slowly, feeling that pull in your lower back even. It's crunchy. Crunchy. You have a crackle pop, huh? Yeah. Good. Let's gently lower all the way back down. Take your right hand out to the side, palm down, and we'll roll over onto your right hip. Keeping your right hand reaching out and long, palm down. Take your time, stay here for a second, feel that opening through your shoulder. When you feel steady, if you'd like, you can reach for your left ankle with your left hand, but that's optional. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Good. release that leg, roll back around. Take your left hand out, palm down, push through your right hand and roll over onto your left hip. You can take that progression, reaching for your right ankle if you were ready. Think of drawing your right shoulder back. Good, release your right foot. If you have it, roll back around. Put your hands right by your rib cage this time and lift your chest a little bit more, maybe going into a full upward dog with straight arms. Big opening through your chest and your back, good. Really good, guys. And then let's go back. Push your heels back. Push your booty back towards your heels. And take this nice, good child's pose, stretching out your lower back. Maybe resting a little bit, swaying a little bit side to side. Good. Thread your right arm underneath the space between your left elbow and your left shoulder and stretch here. You can put a blanket or the block underneath your head if that helps you. Are you breathing? Are you using this opportunity to breathe because you might get busy the rest of the day or you might be doing something else and just forget completely about this intentional breath. So use this time to breathe slowly and switch. Come take your right hand out. Take your left arm under. Palm 
palm up on your left hand. You can take a half bind with your right hand if you'd like, reaching that hand behind your back. Breathe. Good, come back to center, lift yourself up, and let's lay down on our back and get our legs up for 45 seconds or so. So make your way down to your back, grab your pillow or your block on the way so that you can support your hips, get a little elevation through your hips. Christy, I'm going to have You're to welcome. go up all at half past with Alfie. Sorry, I meant to see it at the beginning of class. Sorry. Okay, bye, Alana. Have a great day, Alana. Do have a lovely weekend, everyone. Do your call with your legs up the wall. <laughs> All right. All right. That'd be like, is it a Zoom call? That'd be exciting. Um, All right, take a second, guys. If you want to have your legs up the wall for the remainder of our time for the next couple minutes, then you might go ahead and Find your wall and put your legs up the wall so you've got that nice support. If you just want to take a moment and have your legs up and just support your hips, you can take your legs up. Open your eyes, look at your toes. Eduardo always tells me he has patients who come in and they got all kinds of crazy things happening on their feet. And, and he says, people say, oh, I didn't even realize that. And I just invite you to make sure that you look at your feet, you look at your hands, you just know your own body, right? How can you expect like a doctor who sees you two or three times a year to know you better than you know you? Enjoy some breath here, inhale. Nice big sigh out. And you can make the choice, friends, to hold on to the stuff that makes you feel stressed or to accept it. Maybe ask yourself, if this doesn't happen, what's the worst thing that I'll have to face? And try to be more present looking around, seeing what you have to be grateful for right in front of you. All right, if your legs are not supported and you wanna go ahead and rest them down, you can take your resting pose. If your legs are on the wall and that feels nice, then just stay there and let's be quiet for a bit. Take your final rest. Try to hear and to feel nothing other than the sound of your breath and a peace that you are right here, right now. May you have space to embrace the things that maybe you weren't even able to see before. Clarity to focus on what's right in front of you. No fear to just get the things done that will let you go to the next step. If you have your legs up the wall, go ahead and make your transition. If you're laying down, you can roll over to your side. This will all meet facing one another. Bringing your hands together to heart center. 
have sincere gratitude to each of you for organizing your life and your priorities to give yourself and each other this time. Just keep showing up. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. 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 Mm -hmm.